Okay, so we're back to Let's Play Uncharted Drake's Fortune. And now we're on the turret of a jeep getting rescued by Elena. So we just have to take out these cars. These uh, off-road vehicles. All-terrain vehicles, whatever they're called. I have no idea. All these vehicles that are chasing us. They have guys that are shooting at us. We shoot them, they blow up. That's really all you need to know. Except I can't get that guy. Uh, this part can be somewhat tricky. It's not too too hard, but of course, seeing as how many how many times I've died thus far, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> So obviously there are no treasures in this chapter. This ch entire chapter is just this little drive sequence. So you don't have to worry about any treasure picking up. Just shoot everything in sight and you'll be good. And I use this sequence for one of the intro clips. And occasionally they switch the sides off to get a bit of a different perspective. You can see the nice, beautiful scenery with exploding vehicle parts flying by. You know, the way scenery was meant to be viewed. Flaming tires, yes. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Death too on the Jeep ride. Luckily that I give you quite a few checkpoints on this segment. Or I could be wrong. And we're dead again. Well this is not going so well. It's not usually this bad. I guess they're just getting some pretty lucky shots in. Yeah, sometimes that happens. The enemy is just so relentless that there's like really nothing you can do to save yourself. And there we go again. Oh dear. This could be a long episode. Good lord, man. It's never usually this bad at it. Uh. Okay. It's concentrating time. I'm gonna get it this time. Okay, doing good so far. Guy's not sneaking up on me that time. Okay. Got past the guy that killed me before. Made it a bit farther. Doing good. Doing good. We're okay now. Oh, come on. Two shots. Really, game. You're gonna be that mean. Well, at least we checkpointed. <laughs> okay, this is definitely the, gonna be the episode with the most deaths. Forget that other episode where I died a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're getting dangerously close to the water side now. Whoa! This is the exact piece I used for the intro. Er, wait, yeah, yeah, this is what I used. Just shoot that car just in time and it flies right over your head. Yeah, that's epic. <laughs> no, I shall not die. Dang it. <laughs> uh, why am I so terrible? 
<laughs> I I can't hit anybody. Ah. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. Grr. This is getting somewhat ridiculous. This segment is not this hard, I promise. I've done this many times before without dying this many times. I have no idea what's going on this specific time. I'm just terrible. Alright, maybe. Alright, I'm gonna admit I'm terrible. Now that I've done that, hopefully the game will give me a break and say, okay, we know you're bad. We'll cut you some slack. That would be nice, please. <laughs> well, that was close. I'm pretty sure. This rock wall we need to blow up. I'm pretty sure um, the longer you hold down the button, the less accurate your bullets be. So it might be a good idea to just kind of hold it for ah, crap. <laughs> hold the uh, fire button for just a little bit and let go, and just keep going back and forth. Of course, I guess I should have been. How was that a headshot? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Guess I should have been doing that earlier, but... Too late for that. Dang, the, these guys are really accurate on their shots. Jeez, oh, finally made it. I don't, even, I don't even know how many times I died. I'll figure it out in editing, and then I'll facepalm because that was pretty bad. Yeah, I'll explain who Eddie Raja is in a little bit here. Whew, just barely made it. Oh, dang it. The car's stuck. Speaking of Eddie Raja, going somewhere? Hey, Eddie! Did you really think you could escape from what? No, oh, no, I just given the young lady the ten dollar. So he's French now. I bet you're working for them too. What? You thought you could set me up and keep everything for yourselves? Hmm? Damn it! This guy's crazy. Eddie, take it easy, buddy. <laughs> well, you're out of luck now. This is not look good. Now. Give me that map. Hold on. I like how he pumps the shotgun right, before saying that. Hey, don't move. Relax, Adds to his intimidation. Just get the map like you asked. <laughs> I said, hold on. I am. Well, hand it over. Well, now, you told me not to move. Looks like you're gonna have to come get it. Whoa. That was pretty risky. Are we alright? Hey, look, we made it out okay. And now we've got to swim away really quick because they're going to be shooting at us. And we also got more guys over here. And we've lost our secondary weapon. But we have fully reloaded handgun, so that's nice. I believe that guy has a Wes, so you want to be careful with him, because he could take you out. You can usually tell if they have. You can usually tell by the look if they're they look a bit heavier, then they can usually kill you quicker. I don't know why they designed it like. What was the point of that, Elena? Why did you shoot the exploding barrel? I don't know. Oh, 
Okay, just got this shotgun guy left. And we've managed to escape Eddie for now. So that's always good. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Wait, where is that? Okay, it's in front. We're good. We're still good. Anyway, I said I would explain who Eddie Raja is. Pretty much, he and Nate a little while ago were working on a treasure, getting a treasure on a mission together. By the way, we got a treasure right here. Decorated silver ring. And uh, at the end, Nate knew that Eddie was going to screw him over and leave him behind while he took all the treasure. So Nate took a pr the preemptive action and did the same to him before he could do it to him. He did, did what Eddie was going to do to himself before he could actually do it. Yeah, so that's why they hate each other so much. But anyway, yeah, this episode is pretty short, but yeah, I think we'll end it off here for now. So next time on Uncharted Drake's Fortune, we will continue on running away from Eddie's men, I guess. <laughs>